Lee Horse, two years ago his favourite for the Melbourne Cup when he broke down. Uh, we saw him twice in the autumn and uh, he really created a very favourable impression. I think his trials leading into this run, this preparation, have been better. And uh, for that reason, I think a mart at each way odds represents terrific value in what's a very open affair. What about um, the favourite, non-conformist, Dean? Have you, I just think this is a perfect spot for him. Group 3, 2,000 metres, Caulfield, third up. Once and for all, we'll find out what sort of level he's at. Yeah, he's just got to win a race like this. Richard, he reminds me very much of a horse that was always around the fringes a few years ago called Mudra, and he just didn't quite get the job done. This horse has got to get it done today and get into the Caulfield Cup because he's been promising to do this for 12 months. Now's his time. And just quickly on the shorts, uh, what do we do with Mars Crusader? What do we do with that ticket uh, for our grand final selections coming to the Everest? Uh, no, I'm not dropping off. Uh, I Good. St still thought, look, looking at him in the yard, still a bit of condition on him. His coat still hasn't cleaned off. We've still got a bit of time to the grand final. Uh, no, I'm not giving up at this stage. I like it. Me either. And Michelle said exactly the same comment there about the coat, so I've got a bit of confidence there. Uh, market mover, Finchy. Yeah, Delphi's the points bet market mover, Richo. A spike of late bets. It's $10 all the way into $8. So number four, Delphi, points bet market mover. Michelle, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking, looking at the trees in the background there, it looks like it's got really windy again. Um, so you want a horse that's going to get cover. I think Charlie Rose is going to be right in behind the speed and get, uh, get a really nice run. But I also wasn't jumping off Angel of Truth, who I thought he could forgive for last start. And I think it's, he's going to map really well for this race here today. Days like today with the rain falling. You're glad you're in the studio with me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Certainly not ever envying them out there in that, that horrible weather at the moment. Bruce, uh, well, Dino's uh, keen on your horse as well, Ahmad. So um, uh, you get a little extra confidence there. Can he win today? He's got a great chance, Richard. Uh, there are five or six really big chances. Delphi's another angel of truth. Charlie Rose, non-conformist. I think Chapada's the best really good price one. But I'm going to go with Ahmad. I I'm with Dino. I think he's an exciting horse. Order of the Garda won the race last year. He's a nanny horse up at Newgate Farm. Uh, the Williams family donating him up there to look after um, uh, young horses. Uh, Order of the Garda. Brim and Rocks, Night's Watch, Harlem. So the last four years has been won by a Northern Hemisphere bred horse. And before that was Jamaica, who we've referenced. So win and you're in the great race, the Caulfield Cup. Who gets the golden ticket? Let's find out. Delphi goes in. There's future score. Dean Yendel sporting a navy distinguishing cap. Vow and declare. The 2019 Cup winner goes in. Angel of Truth, Miami bound, nonconformist, a maid and grand promenade. The final five to take their place. Good luck to all of the charities that have uh, got horses in. Involved here in this Foundation Cup as a maid goes in. Miami Bound takes an outside alley with Brett Preble. Nonconformist loading in. Angel of Truth and Knight's Order, the final two. Angel of Truth takes a middle alley. Team Hawks won this race in 2010 with Rainbow Styling. And here's Knight's Order. Takes the outside and the field is set. Ready to run, 2,000 metres. And they're racing. A made middle of the line out. Angel of Truth jumped quickly with Nonconformist. A bit of speed from Vow and Declare and no effort from the deep. And Trali Rose is in the top five. Then Mirage Dancer, Realm of Flowers. Knight's Order from that wide alley is also forcing up to sit about seventh at this stage. Port Guillaume is third last. Future score second last and Miami bound drop to the tail. They're about to climb the hill at the 1500. No effort led by three quarters of a length Mirage Dancer. Trali Rose third the rails from non-conformers wedge between horses Knight's order goes around him they were followed by Delphi and Angel of Truth from Realm of Flowers Grand Promenade is midfield three deep from Vow and Declare next Mosh Music and then came a maid well back in the field Chapada Miami bound getting going three wide around Port Guillaume and last future score through halfway no effort the leader on top of the hill three quarters of a length in front of Knight's order two lengths Mirage Dancer outside of Charlie Rose a shade keen a 
Chapel non-conformist and then came Delphi the fence and Grand Promenade continues to slide forward next in the field Angel of Truth and then came Realm of Flowers deeper is a maid next in the field then Miami bound Mosh Music found a clear then came Chapada second last in the race is Future Score and Port Guillaume last no effort approaches the 600 meters leading out by a length tonight's order then came Trali Rose waited with from Mirage Dancer non-conformist three and four deep Grand Promenade wider and then came a made even deeper further back in the field Delphi approaching the turn and then came Angel of Truth and well back Realm of Flowers in the straight no effort at the 300 meters led Trali Rose can't get a run at the moment Mirage Dancer non-conformist presenting and they were followed by Delphi no effort at the 200 non-conformist chasing Trali Rose back to the inside and Delphi running on at the 100 non-conformist leading Delphi driving non-conformist and Nick Delphi non-conformist hold on non-conformist beat Delphi photo third Trali Rose or Mirage Dancer followed by Port Guillaume and Mosh Music and they were followed by Grand Promenade Knights Order and made Val and declare no effort tired then Angel of Truth Realm of Flowers Japata future score and Miami Bound was last wins his way into the cup non-conformist third up from a spell 2,000 metres and Geordie Charles gave him a beautiful ride Delphi the uh, former uh, Coolmore horse was trained in Ireland by Aidan O'Brien and he having his third Australian start he put the riding on the wall that he'll be a factor with all the big races coming up uh, Charlie Rose back towards the inside is prominent there as well but uh, Bruce today was his day he peaked today and he got the job done and what a great ride. I mean, you talked about it already, Richo. So only ride for Geordie Childs today, a bit like uh, Joseph Maskell. But when Grand Promenade came along uh, down the side, he was giving a maid a great run into the race. But Jordan sort of half-carted. I don't know, Michelle, you would have watched it, I'm sure. He sort of came out on non-conformance, but he didn't go. He actually just kept his position. It was the perfect ride. There were some good runs from the race. I love Grand Promenade. I like the maid. The first two were terrific. But, Michelle, I thought Jordan rode brilliantly. Yes, he did. It was the perfect ride, as you said. Down the side there, obviously, um, protected by the wind out wide. So he was just making in himself, in, putting himself into a position where he could go when he wanted to, but he didn't actually go too early. So it was just time to perfection. And uh, Duffy was challenging him late, but he was very strong through the line. Terrific ride. Jordan Charles and Graham Big, they combine. Nonconformist gets a spot into the Caulfield Cup. Stay with us. Till